This week on Fly Rod Chronicles, we head out to see my good friend Bo Prescorn in northern New Mexico. It's the hosted event, and we bring people from all over out at his ranch in New Mexico. Check us out. Fan voted favorite, best outdoor show host of the year. Oh, Fisher! <laughs> Roam around from place to place. That's a West Virginia trout the right there. Fish go. Oh, oh. They're bigger in Montana. Not a real job, but it's too it's late. My biggest wild brook trout. That's what I'm, I'm talking about. New Mexico. Well, if I don't Big have Daddy gas, right I'm here. Out my thumb. Am I happy? I gotta Welcome get there to Alaska. It's another. bigger than Dollywood. I'm a fish in love. I'm Curtis Fleming. Join me as I pursue my lifelong passion for the art of fly fishing with special guests and friends. These are my Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, the hosted event um, started with just a simple conversation, a phone call with Bo Prescorn and I. Um, he wanted to show off his ranch. New Mexico is, is kind of a hidden jewel in, in my mind. Everybody thinks we're a desert. We wanted to have an event where we could invite some of our fans and friends out to be part of a filming of an episode of Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, with the hosted event, um, you know, we, we, we had 10 people coming out to fish Bo's private waters on the Brazos. Me and the crew, we snuck out and I got on a few fish before anyone even got up out of bed. Sun's coming up out here at Brazos River Ranch. As you can see, this is fly fisherman paradise. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, get him on the reel. Big fish like that, gotta go straight to the reel. Kick this host of the vet show off. Welcome to New Mexico. Come on over here, buddy. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Some wet on the hands right there. That right there is the first Brazos River Ranch, Northern New Mexico, rainbow trout who said, quit talking, I gotta get in the water. That's pretty awesome. It's time to go up, wake up the boys up to host the event, even though I should catch one more. Ooh, 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 oh no, oh no. I've heard that noise before. But that was in a Jaws movie, I'm telling you. That fish is so big. Man, hey, look over there, I see, I see my buddy Ethan, he just came down, everybody's waking up. Hey Ethan, you gotta come to help me net this fish, buddy, I got a big one. I got a pig, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I tell you. Look, hopper dropper. Wow. Early this morning. Wow. That's a beast, huh? That's a boy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That a boy, look at that. Oh yeah. Where you been, Ethan? You know what? I slept in a little bit today, Curtis. Isn't there something about the early bird and the early worm? Not that I was using a worm. Well hey, I mean you, you didn't get to see me catch that first fish and I, I'm I'm not sure you'll be able to go back to camp and tell people that I'm really caught fish all by myself. You think uh, you want to watch me on this one, net this next fish? I'm, I'm seeing more rises up there. Okay. All right, buddy. Let's get her going. Oh, there he is. Yes, sir. You want? Yeah. Hell 
Michael dancing, baby. Come on. Come on, Michael Jackson. Give it to me, baby. Give me the jig. That's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. You see? <laughs> it looked like Saturday Night Soul Train. That fish was moving and grooving right there. He was giving it to me, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. That's a beast. That's a... Whoa. Yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to Brazos River Ranch. Look at that. Show, show off that red. He, look at, look right here. He looks like a steelhead. That's an old fish, man. Look how beautiful that is. Right here, right here. Hey, 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 hey. I'll put you in a timeout over there by Big Rock. Do you see? What a defiant fish. Get him back in. I'd call you professional. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, and if you want to do it again, um, we can do it before commercial break, or you can call me a professional anytime. Okay. Appreciate yeah. it. Look at that guy. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. What a beast. Let's go get some brunch. Let's do it. Or is it breakfast? I, I've never went back to breakfast before. Yeah, before yeah, ever. It's breakfast. I've never went back to breakfast it's smiling. Early. Yeah. Usually I'm going, uh, I love it. You gotta help me brag. We'll be back right after this with Fly Rock Chronicles. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, it's not a secret. Um, I'm proud of our home state of uh, West Virginia. You know, it went from a guide, Mark McKinney, to a former U.S. Congressman, Alan Mollahan, and his son, Carl, who's from West Virginia. What a circle we made out in New Mexico. Mark, hey, who'd have thought two old West Virginia boys doing what they love out here in northern New Mexico? Well, you know, that's the thing, Curtis. We're just out here, you know, I'm doing what I love. I love taking people fishing, getting them on fish. And it's something I've always dreamed of doing when I was little. Would you have ever thought you'd be, you know, out here guiding me? West Virginia U.S. Congressman? I never ever would have thought that in my life. <laughs> it's nice and easy. Nice and How's easy. that making you feel? All right. Woohoo! Dream right in here. Oh, they're beautiful fish. That is a. There we go. We got oh, it in yeah. the net. That is gorgeous. We All got right. it in the net. Congratulations. There you go. How cool is that? All right, there you Mark. Go. Oh, beautiful little wow. bookie. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Bye, little so, fella. So, Mark, real quick, I mean, three West Virginia boys here right now. I mean, what, what's that fish remind you of? Brook trout. I mean, is brook trout back in West Virginia? It, it, it's West Virginia. Virginia. I think of the Monongahela National Forest. That's it, yes. I really do. Yeah. I think of hiking in and yeah. going back in the mountains. you got those nice, beautiful cascading streams. It's great out here, but I'd say I miss home. I was going to say, you're making me homesick. <laughs> Get one more cast. Take it oh easy my. on him. Take That's it easy on him. Take it easy on him. All right. Oh. Alan, big fish, Mollahan. I love it. Take it easy on him. Oh, nice. He might be another 25 inch, or who knows? Persistent, huh? Persistent. Well, he said, I want one more cat. Yeah, right, right. Look at this big bruiser. Yeah. Big old rainbow. Look at this guy. Get it? Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Alan. Yes. Look at, look at him. Touchdown. Yeah. Good job, Mark. Wow. All right. All right. Nice.
Well, I mean, this is obviously exciting catching the big fish here in the Brazos. So, you know, besides being beautiful country, I think everyone else okay, is big and big sky, big valley, big fish. Yeah. <laughs> this is really a great, yeah. great place to and fish. You know, it was hard for you just to get out that I caught two of the biggest fish at camp. You're such a humble, <laughs> humble man. <laughs> yeah. But I've got to say here, Curtis, you know, this, this last fish is one more cast, Mark. Please just let me do one more cast. Right. Said, I'll go ahead and do the one more cast. <laughs> you know, when Alan contacted me and said, you know what, I, I am interested in this hosted event. And he said, I'd like to take my son Carl because it's Carl's birthday and um, we need that time away. This is the kind of trip that really allows you to get together and bond. Uh, here at the Brazos, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. The only problem with all that, you know what I'm learning, that Carl's a heck of a lot better fisherman than I am. <laughs> there he is. Nice fish, take it easy. Nice little brookie. Great brook trout. Yeah. Very nice. Beautiful brookie, man. Good job, bro. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah. Look at the color on that guy. And we'll be back right after this with Fly Rock Chronicles. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. Bo had a friend, Colby, and Colby, he is the founder of Cast Gear. Um, made an introduction, and I mean, we, we just hit it off from the beginning. Colby designed gear for people like Fly Rod Chronicles. I mean, I think the problem with gear in general is, uh, you know, fit, comfort, um, functionality, uh, big keys to success for apparel. You're gearing up, buddy. That, that's your game. Getting a little weather coming in, so I right. uh, thought we'd break out some of the good stuff. There you go. And uh, cast gear, all weather gear, right? Yeah, yes sir. Temperature drop and rain coming. And that's what you guys are about, being versatile. You know, really functional gear, all different situations. But at the end of the day, we want to be really comfortable. Uh, we want gear that's minimalistic, but yet, yet has all the functionality that we demand for our passion. You know, Kobe's right. His gear is functional and it's also comfortable. There you go, buddy. Woo! Check your cast. Nice, Kobe. Very nice. Nice brook trout. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you got it in the sun, dude. Look at that. That's a brook. Yeah, that's great. That's, awesome. that's beautiful. Yeah. Colby, yeah, yeah. you the man. Big one, big one. Oh, oh, oh. oh I shot off, Colby. Come on. Give it to us, Colby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Make some TV, Colby. I love it. A little showboating going on here, huh? You like it? Yeah, now? he hit that. Uh -huh. He hit that like a tank. <laughs> so, so you're you're digging the Brazos River Ranch, aren't you? Huh? Brazos got some fish. Oh my gosh! Look at that. That is a toad. Oh, oh, oh baby! Woo. Nice. Thank you. 
this week's Trout Unlimited segments with our good buddy, Dr. Dave Zig, and he gives us a conservation tip. So talk to me here, freeing up some, some line. So fluorocarbon tippet, as you probably know, is you know stronger and a lot of anglers are using. You know, if you clip off a piece of fluorocarbon tippet and right. you just let it go, yeah. it's not good for the environment because it's gonna last forever. It can affect you know the wildlife, the birds, the fish, that sort of thing. There you go. You wanna change out your tippet, say you you know just caught a big fish and it wrapped you around the rock, right. and it's all braided and you wanna change it out. Right. You clip your line, clip the tippet, you put your line into tippet tech here, holds the line, and then your tippet, so that you're not throwing it out in the environment, right. you just pop it in here, being environmentally conscious. There you go. And then you can change out your tippet now. That was this week's Trout Unlimited segment. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, Tommy Holbrook, um, he's got a special place in our hearts with Fly Rod Chronicles. You know, we met him last year at the Brazos River Ranch hosted event, and he's become family to us. And uh, we felt like we needed to do something. And here's a man who went over to Vietnam, was wounded, gave everything, came back. And we know how he got treated when he came back. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Yeah, that's uh, 42 years ago. That's amazing. Even though we got him a little something, there's never enough we can do for someone like Tommy Hobler. Yeah, I appreciate that. You're, you're quite welcome, Tom. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You know, when we put together this event, um, you know, we asked Bo if we could bring a couple American heroes from Project Killing Waters out. Um, when we called Captain Nicholson and Warren Phillips, he said, I'm gonna send a couple best of the best. And uh, Seamus and Dave Folkert, those two guys, true, true American heroes. There you go, buddy. You're the future of this place. You know, the hosted event was over and it was time for us to pack up and head back to West Virginia. I had one more day, so I thought I would get up again early and sneak out and catch a couple more fish. I thought I'd get out there before Bo and Austin. Son, I don't know where Curtis went. I looked all over for him. You think he's at, at the river? You think he left us? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You think we can go down there and make it happen? All right, buddy, what are we gonna do? Catching pigs. Oh, baby, give me some. Boom, let's go, buddy. Step on the gas, Dad. Curtis better not be fishing in my What are you doing, man? Just getting some fish, buddy. Yeah, we've been up at camp looking for you. I, I, I snuck down here to the river. I was, I was wanting to get down here and catch fish. You know how I am. I mean, I didn't mean to leave him at camp, but look at these rises. I mean, look right here. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fish hog. Did you show him how it's done? You ready? You gonna get in here? We'll get in there. Come on, let's have a little fish off, buddy. Let's see who can catch some fish. What do you think? Oh, 
Austin, you want to go net him? Hey, I need a net, guy. I don't know. You think maybe he's trying to break me off? Yep. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. Hey, look here. My line came off and broke at the same time. You the man. What a net job, buddy. Look at that. See, it's a pig. Yes, this is a pig. Oh, oh there, he goes. there he goes. Man, what a net job. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Sean. A rainbow. I need the net guy. Uh-huh. Ooh, uh-huh. Oh, it's a nice rainbow. It's a pig. Oh. You got him, buddy! Yeah. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Thanks for fishing with me today. I can't tell you how much it means to me, and I appreciate it. So now I'm gonna use your rod. No, you're not. That's the day. No, you're not. You want your rod back? Just give me it. Okay, you can have it, <laughs> kid. Gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is it right here. They're out eating, and I'm losing fish, and I'm having a great time. My camera guys are laughing at me. I don't care, the smile on my face. This has been the most incredible hosted event out here in northern New Mexico at Brazos River Ranch. I lost a fish, I'm smiling. Come back next week, we'll fly rock rock.